Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, we've tried out a lot of strings in the last six months. Um, what are our favorites? Why? Stay tuned. Hey coach, what's up Barry? What you got there today? Oh, just wanted to try out the new white out and then obviously got my black out with some new strings in there. So I want to test it out with you. Yeah, I'm, I'm down, I'm down. All right, um, what you got there coach? Oh, well, I mean, if we're gonna test out your rackets today, I thought we'd just test out my rackets today. What do you, what do you think? Sure coach. If you want that perfect coach or partner who is a racket junkie just like you, Play Your Court is the place. They have over 27,000 players for you to choose from. It's all at playyourcourt.com forward slash tennis spin. All right, so we've tried out a lot of tennis strings and we have probably a lot more to try. I'm guessing there could be an infinite amount of strings for us it to try. It seems like it. <laughs> Every week you turn around, there's another new string, new string. Mm -hmm. Never heard of that company. And wow, look at that. Exactly. New brands are popping up every day. They're making five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, a hundred strings per and then using the colors, roughing it up, squaring it up, six siding it up, 10 siding it up. I mean, you name it, they're coming out with it. Uh, but just to kind of get through the weeds a little bit on strings, these are some of our favorite strings that we've tested uh, in the last, I'd say six months. I mean, it seems like longer, but it's probably six months to eight months to a year. Um, I'm going to start with one of the ones that surprised me and Coach Rob because Coach Rob is not one to use a poly of any sort. Um, but when I introduced him to the, uh, the 20 gauge Hyper G, I didn't even know they made 20 gauge. <laughs> I didn't either until I went to their website and I'm like, I did like a quadruple take. I'm like, <laughs> I thought I was seeing things. Blow it up so you can <laughs> see it better. Because 20 gauge is badminton string essentially. So it was so, so thin, but it felt so, so good. good. Until it went. Until it went. Pop. But, but that's the thing though. With 20 gauge Hyper G, on, in your case, and 20 gauge Torbite, in my case, um, you get maybe six hours out of it. I've gotten a lot of questions from you guys about it. And it does have a good kind of a gut-like feel. It's very lively. It snaps very, very well. And it imparts a good amount of spin on it because it's so thin. It just slides off of each other. So, um, but you kind of have to give up the longevity for the playability. <laughs> Better have a stringer yourself because that could be an expensive habit if you're taking that to the shop. Oh. That's why on the, on the daily. That's why we do reels. <laughs> now, um, Mama Rob actually got twenty gauge. Right. How's yeah. Mama Rob doing? My mom tried it out, and uh, all of her lady friends uh, thought it was she got a new racket. <laughs> she had some neon green string in there. All right, um, and she liked it. She usually uses NXT Power or NXT Comfort. Um, usually stringer at, at an 18 gauge. Um, she is almost 90, so she does wear out the strings. Uh, they fray up, so I know she's playing and not just telling me she's going to the courts and talking with her friends. So, um, so far she seems to be enjoying it. Okay. She hasn't complained. She didn't say her arm hurt. She didn't say any of that stuff. So it ain't gonna fray. No, it's not. It's gonna break. Hopefully. I don't think. Hopefully. She, I don't know if she hits enough <laughs> spin to break it. But if she hits enough to fray it, I'm thinking it can break. Could. Right? Okay. All right, so um, Coach Chris just went on tour, and he chose Super Toro. 
Super Toro is actually a firmer string than I thought it would be. Now feel that, coach. It's hexagonal. It only comes in one gauge, 1.23, which they deem as 17 gauge, and it does come in that blue. Now, nice shade. Feel the firmness, though. Feel the firmness. Yeah. So Coach Chris likes it on the firmer side so that it spins a little bit harder, and he likes it to hold tension longer. So I kind of agree with him that this does both very, very well. And you can feel that hexagon. Right. All right. So Super Toro. It'll be great on your finger stringing it. Uh, it actually ain't that bad. Not that bad. Surprisingly, okay. not that bad at all. Now, but my favorite from, my favorite from Toro line is this Enzo. Is this Enzo. Now feel that. It's not as firm as the Super Toro, and it is a round string. For some yeah. reason, I tend to like round strings a little bit more because I like the kind of a harder feel, but it's not hard. It's, it's, it's energy transfer is kind of perfect for me, and it, kind, it comes in a, a bunch of colors. This is just one of them in the gray. And this is a 1.25. Mm -hmm. And it's round. Okay, copolymer, copolymer, but that's my favorite. Blending these two kind of works too. Um, I personally prefer just the Enzo. Uh, when Coach Chris and I put these together, it kind of threw it off a little bit for us. So he preferred just this, I preferred just this. Now, if you're into something soft, something square, and something roughed up, this Quadro Twist is a great introduction to kind of a soft cold poly. Uh, we know Coach Frankie, right? Coach Frankie loves this. He blends this all the time. For people who are just getting in the polys, this is a great introduction into that. It won't hurt your arm. It's nice and soft, and it's shaped. So it's going to slide and give you a great kind of a plush feel. So. so what tension are are the guys stringing at? Uh, like great Chris, question. What Coach, is he usually? Coach Chris goes straight up Super Toro right. at uh, at 52. I'm what going, stick? when I go Enzo, I go 55. What racket yeah. is he playing with? He just, um, he just chose his racket, actually. We had to get it from Japan. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's, it's the Nishikori racket. It's oh, the wow. Ultra... Ultra Pro 95 hmm. um, with the countervail of all things. I would have never guessed he would have liked the countervail, I, but I didn't know the countervail was still. Uh, it's still alive in Japan alive. Okay. with Nishikori. Yeah. Nice. So he chose that um, and this together. So blue matching the blue. Now feel the white text there. You would think that that would be a pain to string, right? Or at least loud and loud every time you're pulling the crosses. <laughs> have to turn the volume up if it's, you're watching TV. See, it's not, it's firm, but not overly firm. Right. And when it slides over each other, it actually, you know, because it's semi-raised from the bumps, it actually comes right through pretty mm. easily. Yeah, because, you know, Coach Frankie would not love this if it strung hard. That's the other thing, is we, we also gauge by how hard it strings. And none of these actually string that hard. Mm. Okay. That's now, important. Yeah. To the so, stringer. <laughs> exactly. So if you're trying to introduce yourself to poly co poly, um, definitely try out that Ytex. Now, say that name for me. Uh, this is looking like the grapple snake. Now say this name for me. It, it's it's covered in the front there. It starts with an I. Um, yeah, that one ain't happening. What does that look like to you right there? Well, looks like like a squid or an mm -hmm. octopus. Or jellyfish. Jellyfish yeah. or any of that. Irakanji. Great to know. <laughs> so can I use that like in my Scrabble game or something? If you can figure it, remember those letters. Probably not. But if you just put any letters together, you may come up with that. <laughs> Irakanji. Oh yeah, that's what it looks like. So it's got kind of a square head, um, not square, more rectangular head, and that's how they made the string. Kind of like a, you know how some strings are square, some strings are eight-sided, six-sided, um, this, or even triangular? This looks like a rectangle. 
Okay. Okay. I was a little skeptical when I first tried this string. Um, but since putting it in, I kept testing it in my rackets. And I, the, the interesting thing about this one, you haven't tried it, but. I haven't tried it. I do have a player who has that in his mains and oh. a, um, I don't know, it's a grapple snake, whether right. it's the same one or not. Um, and then he's blending it, I think, with uh, NXT. Okay. Does he break the main or the cross? Uh, he just switched because he was—he oh. had been a full set of NXT and was going through it. Oh, so he's cool. graduating. Yeah. Okay, got it. How old is he? He is going to be a seventh grader. Oh, so wow. He's probably he's graduating. A, okay, that's about right. That's about right. Now, I hope it's Irakanji. I mean, this isn't one of their most popular ones, but um, it surprised me a lot. And this isn't a typical string that I would like because it's not as firm as like a Torbite or an Enzo or a Toro. But imagine a string that when the ball hits it, that it bends back and you're like, when you leave in, right as you say, when you leave in, it's gone. Wow. With energy and force and spin and so it's I'm got like, the slingshot working. It does, but it's not sloppy. Okay. That's the thing. Like a lot of the soft strings are sloppy. They they come in, they get muted out, and I'm like, when is the ball leaving? And it left already because I can't feel a thing. I can't hear it. I can't do anything. This is an all around great feeling, great sounding, pretty long lasting string. It actually. Man, how many times am I doing this now? I kept it in my racket eight times of play now. So that's pretty good for me. Usually I don't do that. Um, it's because I just wanted to see how it would last through the whole time of play. And uh, like literally shocked. This is not a string that Grapple Snake is known for. They're known for the M8. They're known for the Sniper. Um, Guys, if you want something surprising that is soft, has spin, holds tension, um, and has great energy transfer, try out the Irakanji. I was, I was like, Irakan I've been saying Irakanji for freaking four weeks now. I even looked up what Irakanji is on YouTube, and it's literally this, this, like a box jellyfish that's the size of your fingernail with like three foot tentacles. So Poisonous. Like <laughs> so, yeah. what, so it looks like that? Yeah, it looks like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but I wanted to put it three foot tentacles and a small thing in, in perspective there. Now, Hope I'm gonna, that helps I'm gonna tell you. you, I'm gonna tell you how it kills you though. Here's the thing. Uh, what does that have to do with string? I don't tennis? know, I just wanted to kanji, you know. Okay. But, but I had to tell just my story, me. you know. So here's the thing. You can be swimming, you wouldn't know that this Arakanji bit you. Like literally, you won't know. And it's from the tentacles. It could just do like that, right? Uh -huh. And then it, it, as soon as it touches you, all the things go right into your bloodstream and it injects it. And you wouldn't feel it. And where are these things located? Just so I know where um, not to go swimming? Australia, I think. I'll stay off like the... Over there, Australia. Okay. They, they have a lot of deadly stuff in Australia. Um, and and so, so what happens is 30 minutes later, 30 minutes later, you get back on the boat, hopefully, and you literally feel like you have a heart attack. Great. <laughs> okay. That's the power of the Irakanji. Okay. I hope it stays over there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let's go. Let's go to your favorite. You're you're sticking with NXT though. You're sticking I like with the NXT, NXT okay. uh, because it's similar to gut. I like the gut feel. Okay. I'm not competing a whole lot, so I don't need the extra durability string. I'm just mostly teaching a lot, um, so I like the comfort. It's gonna keep my arm yeah. uh, hitting more balls. So, okay. So you, you stick with, with what you know. You stick with what you know. Right. Okay. Now, uh, Coach Goo, Coach Goo, we put him on tour bite. We put him on tour bite six, uh, 15 L, one three five. Okay, because he breaks strings. I even stringling his strings because uh, he breaks strings. Did I mention he breaks strings? I think so, maybe once. Okay, so that's why he uses this. I give him no other option. 
Okay, he uses the most durable, and that's it. And he actually plays well with it, surprisingly. You know, and and of course, Coach Jared actually he's kind of in limbo right now. He's still isn't loving. He, isn't he usually in limbo, changing it's stuff? It's very or? true. Okay. It's very isn't he true. always tinkering and changing? It's very, very true. Okay. I mean, as of now, he's on restring zero. Um, the uh, original one in the blue, the restring zero. Um, I'm just going to keep mines confidential just because I really don't want you guys to know what's going on with me. Uh, That's funny. <laughs> Coach Rob? What do you think of our strings? I think it was a nice learning experience to, uh, you know, share the grapple snake and uh, the different ones here, yeah. and uh, try to educate some of our viewers that uh, there are so many strings out there to uh, find something that works for you. Yeah, that's the thing it's though. Not easy. Like we reflect you guys. You know, you guys use a myriad of different strings, different gauges, you know, different shapes, different colors. Like, we're the same way. You know, it, there's no difference. We all love to tinker. We all love to try. Some do. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's... Not me. It's, that's true. <laughs> that's true. You, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Coach Rob, thank you. Sure. All right. Guys, keep testing strings, man. There's going to be more coming. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.